get you one more time. guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you guys a glute workout I'm going to head to the gym I'm gonna be doing a very hip thrust focused workout because hip thrusts they're just like the exercise for me to grow my booty you know others find squats are more effective but for me personally it's hip thrusts I do find I can activate my glutes a lot easier nowadays compared to before and I think it's because hip thrusts have really helped me with that glute activation and that mind and muscle connection. So I'm gonna make it to the gym. It looks so bad outside. It was snowstorming like crazy all morning and all night. I was working from home today, so I kinda wanna get outside a bit. The snowstorm has calmed down like a lot. So I wanna get out of the house today, go to the gym. And I think I'm gonna go to the walk-in clinic and get a prescription for massage because I keep waking up in the mornings with really, really bad headaches and my neck is really sore and also like my upper back. And I think it has to do with, um, you know, me sleeping at night. And I just got a new pillow too. I bought this one from Costco. And at first it was really good, but now like I'm um, still waking up with headaches, so I don't know if it's because I just have a lot of like knots possibly in my upper back So I want to go to the walk-in clinic get a prescription and also if you don't follow me already definitely follow me on Instagram It's just addict Lulu whenever I'm not on my YouTube channel you can find me on my Instagram posting stories photos or videos So if you do want to keep in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel then definitely follow me on over at my Instagram and Subscribe if you aren't already and if you are subscribed click that notification bell and that way you can be notified every time I upload new videos like this one. I was gonna put in that plug, ring the bell. It's good for y'all. Okay, also, it really hurts my arm holding the camera up like that. <laughs> this new camera that I have, it's so small, but it is a arm workout holding this up. Whew. I don't wanna have to do biceps or triceps, you know? I just hold this up for a good five minutes and I'm Gucci. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym and I really hope you guys enjoy this workout and I'll talk to you guys after. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you a glute workout that I recently did that left my glutes on fire. It consisted of a lot of hip thrusts and I find this movement is what really fires up my glutes and activates them the most. So the first two exercises in this workout are a superset and I wanted to do a hip thrust superset just to get my glutes firing up and get that blood pumping to the area. And it for sure did that. My glutes were so sore for the rest of the workout and they were just so easy to activate for any exercise. So the first exercise in this superset is V-Stance Smith Machine Hip Thrust. So for this exercise, you're gonna place the heels of your feet right next to each other and then have your toes flared outwards. So your feet is creating the letter V. And I found this variation of the hip thrust besides banded hip thrust was really difficult. I felt the activation in the lower half of my glutes. So I find this exercise would be really good if you're trying to create that lifted booty look. But that was the area of my glutes that I felt the most activation and the most soreness after I finished a set. And the second exercise in this super set is Smith Machine Hip Thrust Pulses. So you're going to use the same amount of weight as you used for the V-Stance Hip Thrust and you're going to pulsate at the top. So instead of coming all the way down in a full range of motion hip thrust, you're going to pulsate at the top of the hip thrust. Your feet are gonna be placed in a regular hip thrust stance, so shoulder width apart and slightly flared out. This superset left my glutes so sore, but so activated, which I love. I always have to get my glutes fired up before I perform any other exercises in the workout. Otherwise, if I don't fire them up, I'm not gonna feel them for the entire workout. <laughs> The second exercise in this workout is the B-Stance Hip Thrust. So this is another hip thrust movement and the B-Stance Hip Thrust is a variation of the hip thrust that is almost a single leg exercise but with a little help from the other supporting leg. <laughs> 
You can definitely build large strong glutes with only the traditional hip thrusts, but variations like the B stance are a really great way to build into your training program to challenge your glutes and also to add some variety. So with the B stance hip thrust, we are favoring one glute at a time and the working glute has to do more work than when the weight is shared equally among both glutes, so in a traditional hip thrust stance. And the only thing you'll change between a B stance hip thrust and a regular hip thrust is slightly centering the working leg and then also placing the non-working leg forward and toes pointed upwards. So the third exercise is a combination of two movements. So the first movement involves a straight leg deadlift and the second movement involves a deadlift. I've been such a huge fan of combination moves lately. For example, sometimes I'll do a T-bar straight leg deadlift combined with a conventional deadlift like this one. And I've been really enjoying them because I find it not only tires out your glutes, but it also tires you out. Like after I perform this exercise, I'm drenched in sweat. Like I feel like I just ran like 150 meters and also I can feel that activation in my glutes. So for this exercise, you want to use a barbell. So I'm just using one of the shorter barbells, but you can use a longer barbell with plates on it. And I'm just performing a straight leg deadlift with just a slight bend in my knee coming back up and then going straight into a conventional deadlift. And for the conventional deadlift, you wanna push your glutes as far back as you can. And when you come back up, you wanna use your lower body to bring your entire body back up. You don't wanna be using your back or your upper body. You wanna be using your lower body, your glutes, your hamstrings, to bring yourself back up. The fourth set of exercises is a superset. So they both consist of a hip thrust motion. So the first exercise is a hip thrust movement that I have never performed before, they are straight legged hip thrusts. So you should only have a slight bend or no bend in your knee at all, and you wanna thrust your hips upward. So I really did enjoy this exercise. I felt really sore in the area that connects my glutes and my hamstrings. And then you're going to superset that with elevated body weight hip thrusts. So I like to perform a lot of reps for body weight exercises just because I normally use weights and it does take a lot of reps for me to feel soreness and activation in my glutes if I'm just using body weight. So you want to use a bench and you're going to place your feet on the edge of the bench and you're going to thrust upwards towards the air and supersetting these two exercises are perfect for each other. The area connecting my hamstring and my glutes was so sore the next day and also after this exercise, it was unbelievable. The fifth exercise in this workout is long loop banded kickbacks. So the long loop band that I'm using for this exercise is my own Lucille Fitness long loop band. I will have a link for this band down in the description box if any of you guys are interested. But essentially for this exercise, you're performing a kickback, but instead of using body weight, a cable machine, you're using a long loop band. So I place the long loop band around one of like, I don't know what it's called, like, like the pegs or something. And then I place my feet in it and I just kick back against the resistance of the long loop band. And I like this variation of kickbacks because it offers a different kind of resistance and it challenges your glutes and also adds some variety into your workout. And 
the sixth exercise is long stride smith machine lunges so this exercise is called long stride lunges because the distance between both your feet are very wide so if you look at a normal stationary smith machine lunge this is where your feet are normally placed compared to a long stride smith machine lunge where the distance is a lot greater so with a long stride lunge because the distance between two feet are very wide i actually find it activates my glutes really well as opposed to keeping them both together i do perform both variations but i did find that with a long stride i could easily target my glutes <laughs> And the last exercise in this workout is heavy T-bar deadlifts. So this weight is really heavy for me. I don't know about you. Maybe you can do way more weight, but you should be doing about eight reps. And I wanted to finish off the workout with a heavy exercise just to really tire out my glutes. And I actually find this variation of a deadlift is a lot more comfortable than using like the long barbell and doing conventional deadlifts with that. So if you're in the same boat, I highly recommend this one. For this, you just want to make sure that when you're coming up, you're using your lower body and your glutes and not using your back. Just finished and got back home. I got my prescription. I'm super happy I got to go today because I think because of the snowstorm, there wasn't like anybody there. So I didn't even have to wait super long because walk-ins always take forever <laughs> so it didn't take very long today so i'm glad i got that and i hope you guys enjoy that workout i am going to start incorporating hip thrust supersets in my workout because i used to do them and then i stopped but now i see why i used to do them like right now my glutes are so sore and usually they're really sore like the morning of not typically like half an hour after my workout so I'm gonna start incorporating hip thrust supersets where I'm performing one type of hip thrust and then supersetting it with something like the hip thrust pulses or maybe like a um, single leg hip thrust. Yeah, hip thrusts are just the exercise for belly not booty. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and follow me on over at my Instagram if you aren't following me there already. I have been posting a lot more workout videos. Um, I want to be more active on both my social media platforms, so IG and YouTube. So, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and are having an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.